that they go forward. Amen. We'll talk about moving forward. Moving forward. What do we consider moving forward? Everything, every step we take is not the right direction. What if the move is not smooth or nobody else can see the need of the move? The Bible said there's a way to see it right unto man. The end there is way of death. That's why in all our ways we should acknowledge God Amen. and let Him direct our path. The Bible says the footsteps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. We must be careful when we're moving that we're not moving our way, but God's way. Many time we're moving God's way, we're moving forward. Amen? Amen. First of all, we, like Israel, must learn how to wait for the Lord's voice. Uh, do you hear what I'm saying? We must learn to wait on the Lord's voice. Uh, because sometimes we can be so preoccupied uh, like Cain was when God was speaking to him after he had given his offering. He, uh, he was dissatisfied because God had rejected his offering, but God did take time to talk to him. And rather than him listening to God, he was so preoccupied with getting back at his brother that he didn't hear God's voice. Uh, so we got to be careful uh, that we don't get so preoccupied with our own thing. Uh, that we listen to God's voice. And now that you listen to God's voice, we got to make sure that we're not being held back by a past grudge. You do know folks to keep grudges, don't you? Not just keep grudges, but folk even hold grudges in the church. We can't let the past keep us back. That, 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 that's what happened to Jonah. And Jonah was uh, being sent to Nineveh. Uh, Jonah had a problem with the Ninevites because of what they had done to his foreparents. You cannot change the past. Uh, you can't hold grudges with uh, something that happened in the past. Am I right, somebody? Uh, not only should we uh, wait for the Lord for us, when it comes to uh, past, we must be careful. Uh, then we don't try to be God. Uh, you know, God told Abram that you're going to have a son. And because God, um, through the angel, didn't move fast enough. Sarah decided she'll speak for God. Maybe God meant through my handmaid, Hagar. Uh, but God didn't say you going to have a son through Hagar. God said you going to have a son. And you got to know that when God says something, you cannot get in a worry trying to produce your future. You have to wait on God sometimes. Uh, you, you can't let what you think get in the way of what God means. Uh, because what God meant was he was going to have a son by his own wife. But his own wife gave him her enemy. And Abram, like most men, said, okay, uh, since you want to be a small God and speak for God, I'll listen. And when the day was born, then the wife got mad. So we can't do God's job and try to predict our future. That's God's business. Am I right, somebody? Uh, not only, not only should we wait for the Lord's voice, we must learn how to call on the Lord. And Job already told us we're going to have a few days and full of trouble, but we got to learn how to call on the Lord when we get in trouble. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Uh, because there's times when I can get you as a pastor, there's times when your sisters and brothers can help you as Christian brothers and sisters, there's time when mama, daddy, family can help you, but there are times when only God can 
get it. And we have to learn how to call on the name of the Lord. Now, Israel knew that calling on God brought them out of Egypt. And if calling on God brought them out of Egypt, calling on God would also bring them out of the hands or deliver them from the hands of the Egyptians. Israel understood this. If I pray and work back then, it must be still good enough to work right now. Somebody in here knows that prayer still works. I, I, I said somebody, you, you know for yourself that prayer still works. Listen, if grandma prays and his help, grandma can do it. If big mom and papa are going to pray and his help, prayer still works. I feel pretty good again. Prayer works. I'm here not just because I pray. I believe maybe grandma Everybody? 